we are about to introduce the bride and groom and the bridal party, we would like you all to find your tables, catch your children if they're here, and uh, have everyone seated. And uh, shortly, we are going to introduce the guests of honor, so let's get ready. Drodzy Państwo, za chwileczkę będziemy witać Państwa Młodych i Orszak Weselny. Prosimy o odnalezienie Waszych stolików, połapanie dzieci, jeśli macie jakieś tutaj. I e, siadamy za chwileczkę, witamy młodą parę. Dziękuję ślicznie. Let's begin with the parents of the bride, Zosia and Adam Piru! And so everybody knows what's going on, I will explain. 
in Poland, welcoming with bread and salt, we translate chlebem i solo, is often associated with the traditional hospitality. Staropolska gościnność of the Polish nobility. Polish people of all classes observe this tradition reflected in old Polish proverbs. Nowadays, the tradition is mainly observed on wedding days when newlyweds are greeted with bread and salt by their parents on returning from the church wedding. The bread symbolizes prosperity. The parents who today present the bread to the bride and groom wish the newlyweds prosperity throughout their life together. The salt is a preservative of freshness and health. Offered by the parents today, it symbolizes a healthy, strong, and long-lasting relationship of the bride and groom. The filled glasses symbolize cups of joy and happiness. The parents offering those cups to the bride and groom wish the newlyweds life together full of joy and happiness. Okay. And quite often, this is not in my script here, but quite often we have two different glasses, one filled with water, one filled with something stronger. And whosoever gets the stronger drink is the boss of the house. So we don't know whether they did it or not, but that might be happening as we speak. So let's see, let's find out. They can both be uh, vodka or water. We know they're all clean. Cheers! <laughs> congratulations. You the boss, okay? You do well right now. All right. Now, so we can all enjoy it after dinner, uh, the bride and groom are going to move on to the sweet table. They're going to cut their wedding cake. If you, ladies and gentlemen, are desperate to grab a picture of the bride and groom, you're welcome to do it right now. You can. And shortly, everything else will move on. So, Asha, wait. Go ahead. So let's do, I think, the top. Yeah. You want me to do it? So let's put your hands together once more for the bride and groom and the bridal party. Ladies and gentlemen, let us have once more your attention. Typically, we have other people take care of this, but today the pleasure is all on this side of the room. We would like to propose a toast to the bride and groom. Are you guys ready? Oh, you're not ready. Are you ready? All right, let me cut it off for you. It's gonna be really bad for some of you. For some of you, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be in Polish, how about that? We're going to do the traditional Polish stolat to the bride and groom. So we would like all of you to please raise your glasses and stand up. And if you can. Stolat, stolat, 
kitchen will be fine. We would like to turn the microphone over to Father Adam. Can I have your attention please? Wait a minute, Kasha. 
God has given you to each other, so there is a lot to be thankful for. Uh, so maybe we can start with a short prayer. Maybe we can say the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father Prayer for the future, for the blessed future. And thanking God that, you know, He gives uh, themselves to each other. Uh, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So I would like to bless you, and ask God to bless this place, this time, that you are going to spend together. Uh, I would like to bless Blaine and, and, and Kasha. May God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Enjoy. God bless you all. Uh, bravo to Father Adam. We can all be seated right now. Dinner is going to be served very shortly. And for your pleasure, Kasha and Blaine have invited someone very special, very talented, Sean Bouquet. Sean Bouquet is going to play his very magical violin for you while you're enjoying your dinner. And we can guarantee you that your appetite is going to be better, not worse. So, put your hands together and welcome Sean Bouquet!
Brooklyn, as we promised, there's going to be a song about the violinist. Thank you. 